The guy we ran into earlier must have been the same one from the intercom. Spinne. If I was not mistaken, frankly put, he seemed like the kind of person I'd not want to associate with. The kind that observed others from afar with a sneer on their lips and could only view human emotions as a series of chemical reactions. Welcome back to Deus Irae. Last time we... Hmm. Well, we failed during our practice session and cousin we waited for us after school and, uh, and we told her that we are dating Sakurai. Sakurai, okay. So yeah, we're still stuck there. Uh, um, yep. Well, I guess you've got a point. Well, I guess you've got a point. Well, I guess you've got a point. Alright, then let me just get this straight. You're going out with Sakurai, but since she's the jealous type, you want to put some distance between other girls, myself included, until your relationship with her stabilizes. So. I see. Why did they translate so? Okay, it can be translated as I see, but then it would be Soka. It, oh, oh. Although it was him agreeing to her assumption. <sighs> I don't have to get that. Got it, then uh, say you love her. Huh? huh? Someone kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're dating Sakurai because I love her, right? Then let me hear those feelings put into words right here, right now. But why? Why? Why do you want to hurt yourself even more? No buts or whys, I'll be able to give up once I hear you say it. No, no. Give up on what? <sighs> I'll have to agree with you on that, Kazumi. Ah, for crying out loud, you're so annoying. How thick headed can you be? <laughs> Come on, you love Sakurai, don't you? Then you shouldn't have any trouble saying it, right? That's why I hate you, Kazumi. Come now, don't be shy. Just take a deep breath and shout your love and leave it out. Out oh, at the heart of the world. Mm -hmm. I don't think Libido was the word you were looking for. Kazumi, just shut up. Yes, it was. You guys aren't this close to adulthood. What else is there for you to do, huh? Uh, urge to punch rising. Agreed. Oh, you're gonna be okay? Are you absolutely sure about uh, you'll be able to keep your girlfriend like that? Your old pan pal Kazumi is oh so worried, you know? Yeah, keep talking, see if I care. For the love of... 
You always run away like this. But it looked like I'd succeeded in tricking her for the time being. Though it led to an odd misunderstanding, Sakurai would be out of the picture once I accomplished my goal. Cause me labeling me a good-for-nothing boyfriend was a small price to pay for that. She continued yammering on about some nonsensical ne uh, nonsense next to me, but at least she seemed to have been convinced. All I had left to do was wait for the right time to tell her I was going to Sakurai's place. If I did that, she'd probably head home, no questions asked. Plus, I could stay at school all weekend without her getting suspicious. Well, it was sickening to consider, but I'd tell her I made up with the Sakurai and the other two, and the two of us went on a date. So... <laughs> Oh my ears. So hey, um, when you guys are alone, do you just call her Kay or some other pet name, huh? Big boy? Yeah. <coughs> I can't even. <coughs> Let me try. <coughs> I'll move away from the microphone. One second. Yeah. I, I can't. Seriously, I can't. Seeing her act like this silly for the first time in ages made me feel somewhat relieved. I'd also forgotten the ache in my neck, not to mention my urge to hurt others had receded. One could say I finally had my first moment of genuine repose in quite a while. And due to that, I was too late in noticing a certain presence passing me by in the warm sunset, exuding possibly, positively fri frigid aura. Hi, hi, Spinner. Well, well, I see you have your own problems to contend with, Zarathustra. Oh, we're getting closer to that part. <laughs> the voice. Hmm? What's gotten into you? By the time I turned around, the presence was gone, but I could have sworn it was him. <laughs> My heart rate intensified along with my breathing. The calm like surface of my heart had been upset by a violent ripple in the blink of an eye. This was bad, really bad at this rate. Kazumi. Kazumi? Na what is it? Sorry, but you need to go home right now. Huh? But weren't we already heading home? There's something I need to take care of. Are you talking about going to see Sakurai? Yeah, kinda. She's a real harpy, so things will turn ugly and let her butter up soon. If I heard a boyfriend talking like that about his girlfriend, I would suggest that they broke up. <laughs> but okay. So you'll have to... Um, <laughs> oh, okay, got it. I'm not that insensitive, you know. Then I'll go home. Be sure to make up with her, okay? わかってる. Will do. Are you sure you're being rather crude? But wow, if you've got this series, it means you really do love her, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> ah, Germans would say ein Wink mit dem Zaunpfeil. I don't know, is is there a proper translation for that? I don't think so. It's just she's giving the trans the the, the non literal translation would be she's giving very, very obvious hints. <laughs> like waving uh, a sign telling him his feelings. 
<laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, Ren. Um, ah. Be careful on your way home. And with that, Casimir left. It was Saturday afternoon with plenty of people out and about, so I figured the coast would be clear. Should be no trouble at this rate. All right, what next? The guy we ran into earlier must have been the same one from the intercom. Spinner. If I was not mistaken, frankly put, he seemed like the kind of person I'd not want to associate with. The kind that observed others from afar with a sneer on their lips and could only view human emotions as a series of chemical reactions. The sort that found enjoyment in the suffering of others. Rosalka could be placed somewhere along the spectrum as well, but she was the kind to charge headfirst in the maelstrom of it all. By contrast, Spinne would remain ever the spectator, sneering, manipulating, observing from the sidelines, like a spider tormenting the prey caught in its web. It's his name? <sighs> Wait, what has gotten into me? I was starting to sound like someone who knew him well, so I promptly put an end to that train of thought. Anyway, what would be my next course of action? Shut up, phone! Would I follow him or forget about it and head back to school? At any rate, ignoring the problem would get me closer to a resolution. That much was obvious. I had no idea exactly what Spinner was, had in mind, but it was no coincidence that this path crossed mine. His path. Whether or not I would fight, that was another question. I'd go after him and figure out what he was really after. But? My actions may have been either the result of recklessness stemming from a troubled mind or belligerence brought on by the effects of my Arnon Erbe. Whatever the course may have been, I ended up making a critical oversight, one that, at the time, I failed to take notice of. Uh -huh. After searching for several hours, I was ultimately unable to fight him. Exhausted, I ended up plopping myself down on the ground. What motive drove him to my contact with me? I might have learned a thing or two had I been able to tell him, but my efforts ended in complete fail failure. My only reward, an absurd anti-climax, and perhaps a bit of relief as well. Had I caught up to and fought him, I might not have been alive and breathing right now. I had yet to master formation and couldn't even use activation to my heart's content. Realistically speaking, engaging these freaks in battle in my current state would be entirely too reckless. With that in mind, I realized I most likely could have headed back to school. This way, all I ended up doing was waste precious time that could have been spent on training. Damn it. Calm and rational thought left me in my p most critical moment, even though I considered myself to be more level-headed than that. I truly was pathetic. At this point, I had no right to mock Kazumi for his stupidity when I wasn't any better myself. And as a result... <laughs> what are you doing, Fuji? I failed to notice Himaru staring at me with a quizzical expression. Hell, not even her voice registered in my brain. <laughs> Good evening, why are you sitting here? Did something happen? F cup son? Nice to meet you again. And she had company too. No, not really. Well, you could say my day has been a chain of unexpected meetings though. Hmm? Unexpected. <laughs> I still love you, Rhea. Um, Fuji has been acting a little creepy as of late. No need to give it too much thought, Lisa. So, no? But Is that so? Um, then again, he looks. He really does look pale. I assure you, you're right. <laughs> 
それは一応<笑>もうらしやとりあえず地面に座り込むとか不良っぽくてよくないと思うなしかも制服着たままで At any rate, I don't think you should be sitting on the ground. Only delinquents do that. To make matters worse, you're still wearing your uniform. The Gino Gakono image of a very good Narnova. Most of the sorts of your ceremony to stay. Chotto, yeah. As someone the verge of graduation, I'm not sure how to feel about you tarnishing our school's image like that. Sumimase. Sorry. Humorous tone sounded more biting than usual. Maybe she was still holding a crutch for yesterday. She wasn't exactly wrong though, so I promptly dusted off my pants. Luckily, the scar on my neck no longer ached. The more peculiar thing, however, was the fact it vanished the moment these two showed up. What's with the funny look? Nothing really. Anyway, what are you guys up to? b u s o d e s h o Onna no hito dake de yoru de aruk nante. Simp san wa dou s t a n d e s k It's dangerous for two women being out here on their own. What happened to Father Trefer? Mm, ah, sore wa chotto ne. Well,、uh, you see. Ano hito wa ima, ye de chu. He ran away. Ha? Ha? Da kara, dokka it chotta. Mukashi kara. ちょっといじめるとすぐに行方をくらますの。私は何もしてないわよ。まったくあの人ったら大きな体して本当に打たれ弱いんだから。I didn't do anything, okay? My, for such a big man, he's a really, he's a real baby deep down inside. Maybe you should have been a bit nicer to him, Rea. So it's my fault now. Why are you saying it's mine? Let me guess. You're both at fault here? If I had to make an educated guess, you probably committed some kind of blunder again. It hadn't, I hadn't seen Father Trefer since then, but he bluntly put, seemed all over the place. Must not have been easy living with these two. So, what did you mean? Why did you do that? 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 Hey, you. What's with that look of pity there? Just so you know, that man is quite a scrun- scoundrel. Hakuto! Scoundrel? Dakara, nande soko de warano? Why did you laugh when you said that? Date, ano simpu san de shou? Hakuto to ka yuare temo. I mean, we're talking about the same Father Trefer, right? Calling him a scoundrel. Come on! I couldn't help but chuck up the claim. Ma, date ni simpu o yatte iru wake ja nai kara, soto zura wa ii kedo ne? Well, he's certainly a priest for a reason, so he may look good on the outside, but. Sister, mo, hite wa s h n a i n d e s k a You're not denying he's a scoundrel, Sister Lisa. Fuji kun wa hito wa hirume ga nai. It's just that you don't have any eye for character. Have an eye. She sounded sort of exasperated when she said that. Ano hito to sess sur toki wa ne. You dan shi cha dame. Watashi ga shitte ru naka de. Yep. You can't let your guard down around him. He's probably the most wicked person I know. Isn't he running around with his eyes closed? Can't remember. I should pay attention more. But they are normally the strongest and brutal. A dinosaur in sheep's clothing? Alright, the best way to, to describe him is that he's a dinosaur in sheep's clothing. Scamo Tyrannosaurus! And a tyrann Tyrannosaurus Rex at that. <coughs> They weren't that intelligent though. <coughs> Raptors are a bit more intelligent than 
Tyrannosaurus Rexes? I don't know. <laughs> More like Satan. <laughs> and he's not even aware of it. I doubt that. Harsh words. I was starting to genuinely feel sorry for the guy. Well, despite all that, he still has his good qualities, so we're looking for him. Well, perfect time to end this. We'll look for him in the next part and see what happens when we meet him. <laughs> it's, it's a bit unfair since I know from the anime what's going to happen. But you won't. You don't. So, yep, deal with it. I know what happens. Ooh. See you next time. Bye.